and welcome back to Conversations with JR. You know, it's been a while since I've talked to my audience, and I'm very excited about today's video. As you can see, I have a guest here, and today we are going to be talking about 10 or 8 relationship myth from the male perspective. Let me introduce my co-host today. This is Michael Roach. He is a father. He is a husband. He is a son. Uh, retired from the military. He is a musician. He is a man of God. And the reason why he is going to be the perfect person to talk about these 10 uh, or 8 relationship myths is because he watched one of my previous videos that I did when I interviewed Sarah and when I interviewed Shantae. And he says, now that you have the female perspective on these relationship myths, we need a male perspective. So here I am sitting in his man cave in North Carolina. Yes, I came all the way to North Carolina to get this interview. But before we start with the questions, I want Michael Roach to give his perspective on what does he really think about some of these relationship myths. Thank you for having me. Um, I think the relationship myths, you have to interpolate them. Um, some of them are myths, some of them are truth. I don't think that every stereotype applies to uh, all relationships, but there are definitely some stereotypes or myths or uh, uh, conceptions that do mm. apply to, let's say, the average relationship. I would say like that. So oh. I think that it just depends on the couple knowing the relationship, the the uh, the the um, innuendos that make up their relationship, and and then that way they can they'll know what applies to them and what doesn't apply to them. Okay, so let's just get right into this. Now, here's one. All a couple need to have a, sex, uh, a successful relationship is love. All they need is love. All we need is love, love. So this is what I'm going to interpolate to my personal relationship. I, I am happily married. I've been with my wife for 16 years. We've been married for 14. We just celebrated 14 years this year. Congratulations. January the 20th. Um... There were some times in our relationship where the only thing that kept us together was the love. Mm. Um, there were some times in our relationship where it was like, okay, it, it was so many things going wrong, so many different outside influence mm. things that we, we the decisions that we made that made things not as good as they could have been. And when we came back to the table to evaluate, re-evaluate, re-establish, reprioritize. The baseline foundation was love. So sometimes your love will get you through. Now you have to have, in my opinion, a genuine love and respect and understand that love is not as hard as we make it. Love is a concept. Um, it's the, the effort, the time that you put into the love that makes love, um, what it is because you're not going to always feel love you're not going to always feel like loving you're not going to always want to be like emotional or lovey-dovey or, or whatever the case may be however mm -hmm. your relationship works but um, in, in my personal opinion sometimes me and my wife my beautiful wife Frances all we had was love and, and, right. and love is sometimes the driving force behind the reconnection the recommitment the reestablishment so I won't necessarily say that one is a myth, but that that one definitely only applies to relationships that have stood the test of time and, and understood that it was our love at the end of the day that kept us going. Great. Next question, or next myth, may I say. My partner needs to change, and then we'll be happy. <laughs> My partner needs to change, and then we can be happy. I'm getting trouble with the female viewers. <laughs> Because the female viewers a lot are, he said are, it. are very, 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 if I can get him to be this way, then. Mm. If I can get him to think this way, then. If I can think, get him to be what I want him to be, then. So, I think that if everyone looks at themselves and understands the weaknesses that are involved within the relationship that they bring and try to self-improve in that area, I think we would have a lot less blame games mm. or situations where 
you did this, I did this, because it's easy for me to go, well, this is your fault, this is your fault, this is your fault, this is what I did, or, or this is what you did, or this is what you should have did, this is what I feel you could be. I think if we take the time to really do self-examinations every now and then and realize that we could be just as much of a burden or a hindrance on our relationship as we perceive our mate to be. Um, so, yeah, you, no one can change no one. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide, okay, these are my weaknesses um, and, and be aware enough to accept right. what you are and, and what you're willing to do in order to change for the betterment of the relationship. Absolutely. I think we have time for one more. I want to get like a really juicy one. So I'm <laughs> going to, yeah, they're all juicy. Uh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. If my partner really loves me, they will want to spend all of their time with me. If my partner truly, really loves me, get back to that love. You said love. They will want to spend all their time with me, meaning that forsaking all others, families, friends, associates, diehards that you've had in your life for a very long time, relationships that you have established since, you know, you came out of your mother's womb and now you're with me. We're in love. We're in this relationship. <laughs> We're together. <laughs> And you need to spend all your time uh, with me because you don't need nobody else. That is not love. That is entrapment, number one. Ooh. So, I, I, I don't... Th th that's, that's stupid. I'm just going to say it like that. Because <laughs> no one wants to spend all their time with one person. But we're in love. Again, I'm. we're in love. We're not, like, imprisoned. <laughs> so, no one wants to spend all of their time with Ooh. the other person. Maybe in the beginning, when you're just courting... And you're, you're beginning to understand, you know, how that person works and you're establishing the foundation for the relationship. Spending all your time together is almost a given. It's just what you're going to do because you have nothing else to do because you're bright-eyed and you're bushy-tailed mm -hmm. and everything that everything is sparkling and it's all new sparkling and it's new. exciting yes. and it's great. But over time, life happens. You know, individuals have goals individuals have mm. uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for daily routines yes individuals have um, standards I like that you keep using that word individuals keep individuals it going have, yes um, things that happen that they may or may not be controlling yes. I think the the balance to that would be to just set times to spend that time together so that way the partner does not feel neglected because, and I'm speaking about my own relationship okay. because I know that one the best. All right. I know at times there you go. I can get very busy and and even just busy with the kids and with the house and other responsibilities and my wife will knock me, you know, she'll, she'll not knock me but so much remind me like, hey, you know, it's been a while, we need to and I'll be like, yeah, man, she's right. So um, I just think that if you find that balance, now there are some that feel like we should always be together. Like, if you go to the bathroom, I want to go to the bathroom. If, if you eating bologna and cheese, I want to eat bologna and cheese. <laughs> if if you drinking ice water, I want ice water too. I, I, I think that's the quickest way to run somebody away because mm -hmm. eventually, if you hold this person, like a Siamese twin to your side, then they, they're, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna grow apart from Isn't you. Isn't that smothering? No, that's entrapment. Oh, uh, entrapment. That's entrapment. I said smothering, no, but he says that's entrapment. entrapment. 